Now, the Incomeet Creek fire continues to rip through the southern part of the Okanagan Valley between Soyuz and Oliver. Last night, hundreds of people were abruptly ordered to evacuate after the fire quickly spread. It grew three square kilometers in just a few hours. Now it's doubled in size, estimated to be 20 square kilometers. And a few moments ago, the regional district issued another evacuation alert for this fire, affecting yet more properties to the southeast of the current evacuation orders. Arnita Bath happened to be on site in Asoyus, where she saw firsthand how that fire swept through the area. She joins us live. Anita, sky's still looking hazy and smoky behind you. Any signs the situation might be getting better? You know, it doesn't look like it from where I am, Dan. Um, crew spent the entire day trying to battle this fire. So that's just one spot behind me there where last night we saw flames all along that hill. You know, people were fire watching until about six in the morning because it was completely lit up. Now I wanna show you behind me here. So there's another part of the fire there and that's where crews have been working. So it shifted Southeast uh, last night and early this morning. Now, all day, uh, there's probably been dozens of planes that have been flying overhead, collecting water from the lake behind me, and then going and dousing it on those hot spots. Um, it's, you really get a sense of how hard these crews are working. It's just round and around and around, picking up the water, dumping it, trying to put out the flames, uh, Dan. Now, we know that the Soyuz and, and Oliver region is very popular among people who love to visit the wineries. Should people be there who are looking to vacation think about changing their plans? You know, that's hard for me to say, but I, I will say that I, it seems that those who are uh, staying in a Soyuz and staying uh, where we are, even though we are an evacuation alert, um, we are okay at the moment. So I would say, you know, um, check out the situation before you leave. Make sure that um, the government says that it's okay to come here. We do know that Spirit Ridge Resort in a Soyuz has closed uh, out of precaution and they are planning to open up again in a few days. So if you have that place booked, you know, just check with them. Um, but I want to show you here, or I'll, I'll just, I'll wait, yeah, there you go. Go. I want to show you here. I'm not sure if you can see. Um, there's actually flames on the hill, but I don't think you can see it through the phone. Um, but from where I am, I can actually see the flames uh, shooting up there. So that's what we kind of keep getting these little hot spots uh, of flames that are that are coming through, and that can be pretty scary. Now I am in a place as well where. There are a lot of tourists, but there's also a lot of residents. So last night, as we were watching, uh, a lot of the tourists actually packed up and left, even if they had, you know, four or five days left uh, to stay here because they were pretty worried, um, especially given how close this fire was to where we are staying. There are a lot of residents here and, you know, they've got their garages open and they've got their trunks open and they're full of boxes. And everyone that I've talked to says that it's photo albums. They want to make sure that they keep their photo albums. So they're ready to go if they have to. And on that note, just to wrap up, Anita, how did officials handle the evacuation and the alerts and the orders as well, do you think? You know, communication for us was uh, was great. Um, they let everybody know that they were on alert. They had uh, police stationed all around Oliver and Asoyas. We drove around a little bit, um, and the cops were able to tell us everything that was going on. Um, you know, the people who were forced to leave their home last night, they had to leave very quickly. That's kind of a theme with wildfires this season in British Columbia. Um, a lot of them didn't have a chance to grab uh, what they needed to grab. But the good thing is last night when we were watching those flames on the hill, that was, uh, crews were there and they were trying to save those homes and they did a really good job of that last night. I can't stress enough, you know, what I, I've covered lots of wildfires in the past, but today just seeing how much these planes have been uh, going at it all day is very incredible. And I have to commend the firefighters in this province. Indeed, Anita Bath joining us live near the Incomeet Creek fire. Please stay safe, Anita.